Well, it missed, it missed reports that at least one police officer in Grand Bahama has been diagnosed with COVID-19. Director of the National HIV AIDS Infectious Disease Program, Dr. Nakia Forbes says, contact tracing would have taken place. She says officers that would have been in contact with the COVID case would also have been instructed to self-isolate. Contact tracing is happening in, in Grand Bahama and they're doing a very good job contact tracing not only for that person, but, but the other cases that they have identified in Grand Bahama. I, I have to give congratulations to the surveillance unit, both here and throughout the islands and in Grand Bahama for the work that they've been doing and continue to do this response. For anyone who's been a close contact of someone with known coronavirus, COVID-19, they are to be in quarantine. And they, they are placed in a way of doing this thing called geofencing, the Hubcat app, so that we can have a means of monitoring that they're adhering to the quarantine. But absolutely, every close contact should be in quarantine. That means that they should be at home and not coming in close contact with persons. You shouldn't be leaving the home at all. As for testing these contacts, Dr. Forbes says that has not occurred yet because of the 14-day incubation period. We have to think strategically of when that test will be done. All contacts, close contacts, are tested for COVID-19. That's our national policy. So the person is in quarantine. It has to be for an incubation period of 14 days. That's the long end based on what we know. If the person develops symptoms, absolutely, they should be tested then. However, if they remain asymptomatic, it could be more strategic to test them at the end of the quarantine, of the incubation period, 14 days. With the view or the science that that could be the, the most effective day, should you never have developed symptoms.